Katie Tubes, how is she hanging? Pretty good here, pretty good here. So, we're going to do a little bit of an oil change series for you here. Not going to do them kind of all in one video. I'm going to do one machine kind of per video. Uh, oil change and a, a service kind of thing. Uh, so, we got the 110 TLB here right now. And um, it needs an oil change. And uh, looking over, going over, greasing and stuff. Grease what I can grease anyways. And... Uh, so I got enough oil, I got uh, filters, one for the backhoe here, they're both the same. Funny thing is though, I guess they had a different run, I gotta show you this while we're letting that guy warm up. They had a different run of these I guess, they're all the, uh, so these are uh, they're definitely the same number. I got an M806419. And uh, I guess they changed the design on the M806419. But, uh, okay, those ones are the same. Sorry, it's this one. This one. And <clears throat> pay attention to the design of their gasket there. Got like a little beveled edge and then the sharp edge that actually seals. So this one is uh, M806419. Same again, but look at the difference of it. They must have changed the way they do them. See, these are more of like elongated hole. These are round. There's more gasket on this one, where this one's like pretty puny, like it actually comes out. If you wanted it to. This one probably would come out, but you'd have to fight with it a little more maybe, but I thought that was interesting anyways. So, one problem is, when I get to the Mini X, I do have a filter for it, but I really, really don't want to use it because these are kind of hard to get for me. And as I look at this, and they measure pretty well the same, it's a little bit smaller, dimensionally wise, but uh, height wise pretty well the same, the gasket measures the same, it's actually got more drain holes in this one than this one. I, I guess I could probably use that one this time, but if I can't get filters, that's not good. <laughs> So, anyway, to get a filter, I, uh, for that, I gotta drive about, in, well, Indonesia. See, I gotta drive all the way to Indonesia to get a filter. No, I'm kidding. I have to drive about an hour and 20 minutes from here to get a filter. So, I'm kinda hoping that maybe one of these filters might work. I don't know. I mean, this is the same one that's on the, the backhoe. Funny enough, you think it would be bigger, it's not. And the same one that goes on my uh, my other tractor, my little green tractor. Same, same exact one, so. But uh, anyways, uh, <clears throat> let's get you up on the tripod here. I'm kind of expecting a bit of a rain shower and it's kind of happening now. I see it dripping off the, the thing, but that kind of sucks. Eh, a little wet. Uh, maybe we'll wait till it passes a little, but I'll get this draining out maybe at the time, time being. But let's, uh, it's probably warm enough. I've already had it out this morning. We'll just shut her down. we got to dismantle some of the front here so we'll just stick in here inside a little bit and uh, we'll dismantle this a little bit here to get in there and everything we're gonna put that up and that just clips up on itself and then we got to take the side cover off here so it's easier to get into uh, filling it and stuff Side cover. Gotta love that. Side cover. All right. Ooh, we got our jam full of leaves. It's awesome. I was actually uh, stirring my leaf leaf piles the other day there, so they got kind of sucked into the in here, I guess. So. Now, this thing's been kind of a brute to get out. There's a screen in here. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna get it out now. Easily, anyways. Now the problem with this, so everything falls in anyway, so. Oh. So I'm gonna have to get my air out, I guess. Get that all blown out. It'll blow straight down and out, which is good. But uh, let's have a look here. You can kind of see where everything's kind of going. 
So there's your oil cooler up here and then the radiator in behind. So I'm gonna have to get the air out and get that blown out. Um, over on this side, we've got uh, the filter. And what did I put? 4.9 liters in last time. So I'm gonna get the uh, M80619, yeah. I'm gonna get the, uh, oh, don't get into the grease. <laughs> I gotta remember that's there. Um, gotta get the, uh, I'm gonna blow some air in around there too, I think after. Gotta get a filter and uh, I'll put how many hours, that was the 2900 hour oil change last time. And uh, I always put it on there, so I'm like, oh, how much oil does this thing take now? And it says 4.9 liters, so there you go. So anyways, I'm gonna get some air going here, I guess. And uh, we'll get, uh, well, it's kind of misty rain right now. Look at it coming over, coming over here. <laughs> Not very nice. It's just supposed to be a quick little and then it's going again. So um, we'll maybe get you on the little mini tripod thing and then just stick you underneath where it's maybe a little drier. Oh, it's getting windy too. I might not do this right now. <laughs> um, I didn't bring air filters for this thing. And this canister here, and it is a nightmare to take off, but I think I checked them last time. It's kind of, it's not a nightmare, it's just a real pain in the rear end to get it all in there and get it, get it out, but I'll double check it anyway, see how they are. I, I can't remember if I put one in last time or not. Hmm. I don't think I did, but anyways. Uh, so I'll get the air going, get that cleaned out first, maybe. Should get it draining out too here, I guess. All right, well, we'll get this guy draining out first here. Got the gloves on. All good. Oh, nice tight engine still, see that? That's good. So to get that to stop doing that, you gotta pull the dipstick out. There we go. All right, we'll let that guy drain. Um, I need a towel. I bring one with me, of course. And I'm gonna see if I can untwist this. Oh, I can't get it my hand, I don't think. Okay, we'll let that drain a minute, and then uh, we'll work on the filter here. All right, so I got my sweet little strap wrench thing. And they're not too bad. Sometimes they suck, but most times they're not bad. Oh. Work this time, anyways. Let that guy dribble out. Sweet. So far, I, I don't think this thing's using oil, which is good. It hasn't been uh, going down, anyways. It hasn't been going up either, which is also a good thing. That's not doing that. So, all right, 500 miles of threads. I have to get that draining out. Hopefully, I didn't get oil on you guys. I see a bit on the camera here. Oh, maybe it's rain. Ooh, maybe it's rain. All right, so we'll go in and uh, well, we got to see. We got for hours on this now. I think I might be over a little bit. 3026. Whoops! <laughs> I guess that was probably because of the middle of winter. I was plowing. 3026. So we'll write that on the uh, filter here. And four point. 4.9 liters and uh, April 13th today. So right on here. Three zero two seven. It's three zero two six point eight, but we're closer to seven than we are the the point eight. So. Okay, so that is filter ready to go. Um, probably going to pre-fill that one a little bit, let her soak in a bit. Uh, we've got to measure out, well, not quite not quite 4.9, because that's like the whole entire jug here, um, but close to. 
Okay, so I got a part jug here, and then we're going to have to open up a new fresh one. Uh, now, the jug inside is not as dirty as the outside. I keep it in, cl it's in clean inside, you know, because I do different things with this, right? So you got to keep the oil from, you know, contaminating other oils kind of thing. So it is clean inside. I know it doesn't look like it, but it is. It's dry and clean and, and good. So uh, we'll do... Well, I don't know. I'll do maybe four liters. Then we'll have to do another, well, there's 750 and then another one liter, so just about that. And then I'll dump whatever I got off the second one into the filter here, kind of sort of thing. So let's get some oil. Oil. Good old fossil fuel stuff. We'll just shake up the contaminants. Good. <laughs> and, ooh. Stupid handle. That already looks dark maple syrup colored. I know, it's great stuff. Go away, mosquito. I think you are. I think I found what the mosquito problem was here last year, remember? I uh, created a little bit of a jump for, for Dylan in the back there and uh, another pooling of water. So that's going to have to drain a minute somehow. I'll let that sit there and uh, drain itself. Okay, just got the air compressor charged up. Um, but before we go ahead with the uh, blowing that out, I want to get the filter back on here. So we're going to pre-charge this at almost three liters in this thing here. Get all that stuff soaked in there. All right, so we'll head her out now, let that soak in. For a minute, we'll head her out, stick her back on, and then uh, we'll uh, give that uh, front radiator area and cooling area a bit of a blow. And uh, so we're just under three liters right now, so we only used about 200 mil maybe on that, not even, not too bad. Okay, let's head her out. And uh, we'll get that uh, flange cleaned up that this thing mounts to and uh, screw her back on. All right, let's get in here and just give this a wiping down. Kind of, sort of. We'll get this feller back in here. Just so there's no uh, potential contaminations there, right? Well, I got that sticker perfect. How did I know? And uh, maybe I will even still dribble in there a little bit uh, into the pan. I was kind of wanting to get that oil pan into there so all this stuff didn't kind of blow into that too. Uh, maybe we'll put the bolt back in. Got 99.9.327. 0.299 out of there, so. Should be good. Poor old girl, eh? She's getting... She's getting old. Hard to watch an old friend get old, isn't it? Like me. <laughs> I'll have to wipe the tool off after anyways, and know me, I'll probably drop it in the bucket of stuff. <laughs> Should be good. All right, we'll pull this out of here. Well, uh, I'll take this down to the river and dump it in. No, I'm kidding, I'm just teasing you. I won't do that, it's not nice. The fish don't like it warm, they like it cold. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing you again. Okay, so uh, I got the air compressor charged up. Let's just get this cleaned up out of the way here and uh, we will give her a cleaning. Okay, be prepared. Jump scare alert. The compressor will turn on and scare the crap out of you. It will me anyways. It always does. So just to let you know, it's full right now, but we've got about 30 seconds of nothing and then it'll turn on guaranteed. So.
handle with this thing here, this air filter, it is a brute, but that's not really that bad, I guess. But you gotta basically, well, yeah, you gotta get it up and out of here a little bit so you can get this clip off by the muffler here. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> Quite a storm that went through. Apparently, we didn't really get a whole lot of it, but a lot of people got it uh, really bad. I seen a picture of one guy's house that slid right off his foundation. Like, you forget to tire down there, bud. <laughs> That's uh, pretty crazy to, for that to happen. Okay, so this has to come up a little bit here. It is really nuisance this thing right here I think but, oh wow we where did all that come from it's full of leaves oh it must have sucked it up the tube <laughs> well it's a good thing maybe we lucked into there bud um, <laughs> I think I might change that one show you why in a second here if I have one that is more air coming change this one. I, maybe I didn't do it last time. I don't remember. So we're going to take her and put a light in behind it. And uh, you can't even see that light. It's bright. Of course, you can't even see that light coming through, right? Well, let's take a new one here. Brandy new out of the box. And it looks like a nice glow light, right? So it's definitely needing a replacement. There's the, uh, the two of them together. So I think it's probably due. So we'll do that one, and let's check this inner one too. Usually it's not so bad, because the outer one takes most of it, but there's the dirty one with the light inside. Woo jeez, what took these out? There's the clean one. So, I mean, you can see the difference in the color of them. Yeah, this one's not too bad yet, I don't think. I'm not going to switch it. It's a little bit dirty, but it's got some life in her yet. Filters are like 40 bucks a piece, so... <laughs> we'll hold on to that one for now, I guess. Mm -hmm. A nice new fresh outer one. It gets most of the stuff anyway, so... I think the big one here is about 56 bucks a piece, and that's my last one, so I will have to order some of them. Hopefully I can just get it from my John Deere guys and they're like, yeah, we'll leave it on the curb for you. Just, you know, we can work on it later. <laughs> get, it, get it later. Um, okay. A little problem with our filter cover. There we go. And it's just a clip come out. Sometimes it just doesn't want to fit on, right? I don't know why, because I haven't really looked at it and see why it's not fitting, but it's uh it's it's a struggle every time. And this thing has to go past the filter, the muffler. Mister, get this thing up a little bit more, maybe make it easier. There we go. There we go. Oh, I don't like that thing. <laughs> I don't like them. So we got to get these little screws fit back in the little bracket here that holds it for us. It doesn't want to line up because you're also fighting a, a big rubber hose that goes down into the intake grid. There's a grid heater in there, which you know what I should probably be doing a check on. 
I should pop that cover off one of these days and have a look. I'll show you where that is in a, in a second here. Got no glow plugs on this thing. It's basically a grid heater. So inline, I'll, sh I'll show you after here. Hang on a second, I just dropped the washer. Let's get this top one screwed in, then we can tighten them down. So yeah, everything needs an oil change. This needs an oil change. 2732 needs an oil change. 2732, is that right? I don't know, the green one. I forget the number of it now. 20, uh, something like that. 2032R, that's it. That needs a change. The Mini X needs a change. Our mower, our uh, zero turn needs a change. Uh, our truck, the truck needs a change. <laughs> And I don't have all the parts and pieces for that yet. But anyways, let's have a look at this heater here. So the air comes through here. I guess that's why I got all the leaves sucked down there. I'm amazed it didn't snuff out. Anyways, it goes down there. In through the filters. Down through the back of the filter housing. There's this big rubber tube here. And that goes down into the intake here. And in here is a big grid heater with a thing, wire attached to it. And it's like a bunch of metal grates. So when you're cranking it over, you're supposed to crank it over and push the key in. So you're supposed to turn it on, push the key in first, let that thing warm up. I should actually test it, you know, see if there's power going to it. Maybe I will do that. I don't know how I'm gonna push the key and test that, but I almost need someone out here to help me. But um, Anyways, so it uh, gets this thing like red hot, which like totally eats up your battery if it's not in good shape. And then when you're cranking it, it's supposed to suck warm air into it and then help it start. I think it's a terrible system. It's It was always good at the start, but now it's not good at all starting really in the, in the winter. But anyways, so that is that. Um, I got a few grease fittings here. This thing doesn't have any. Um, the backhoe and the, 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 the loader, they get greased all the time, so I'm not doing it now. This is basically just the running stuff and there's there's really nothing other degrees on it there's all the pins and stuff but like I say I do them like about every third second or third grave I do I give everything a grease I can see all the, the grease poured out sort of there right it's coming out good so uh, anyways um, I guess we'll fill her up now the plug in the filters on it's windy and scary out here and I want to go inside so let's fill her up okay we got four fresh liters here and I forgot my funnel Take 29, four fresh liters here. Get that feller in there. And we need almost another whole liter. This stuff takes a bit to go here though, because it is a bit thicker. It's a 1030, but gosh, you'd swear it was a 2050. <laughs> it's supposed to be a 1030 though, that's what I use. Uh, I could have put a 1540 in it for this time of year. But um, I've been finding that it does start better on the 1030. The 1030 is supposed to be a little bit thinner, although I don't know if it is or not. Um, so I've just been running the 1030 in it for about four or five years now. I used to switch back summertime, I put 15, 40 great weight in it, and then I found that it would carry over too far into the winter, and then if it was outside, it wouldn't start at all. And the 1030 seemed to help a little bit anyways. Holy cow, this is like thick as maple syrup today. It's almost like globbing around in there. Yeah. Good oil though, I never had a problem with it. Still running day one on the same stuff, you know, so I always uh, try my best to use, well, John Deere everything on it, so you know, if there's ever a problem, they'll say, oh well, we're using our oil. Yeah. Plus they make a pretty good product, so they, uh, it's not cheap, but you know what? Neither is an engine rebuild if you use a crappier kind of oil. Honestly, I don't know. I think nowadays, with the standards and stuff, everything's pretty much oil's oil, really, right? I don't know if that's a good thing to say. I'm sure some of you might say, no, 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 no that's not right. <laughs> There's synthetic and semi-synthetic and then full conventional crap and... Uh, this stuff, I don't know exactly what it is, if it's got some synthetic or if it's all synthetic or if it's all... I'm not sure, it doesn't really tell you. 
It's deer juice. That's all it is, deer juice. Holy cow, is this going to finish up here or not? We'll go get another, uh, not quite a whole liter. Well, probably actually a whole liter because by the time you get the stuff that's coating the inside of the jug, you know, I'm probably not going to let this thing sit here and drizzle today like I normally would. Upside down, drain it out. I'm just going to go drain it back in the bucket. Now I want to get out of here because this is kind of a weird, creepy day out here today. And, uh... I don't know, I just don't feel comfortable outside here. So, it's good there. We'll go grab another liter and dump her in. Okay, one more liter. It's funny, the top of the engine on the valve cover, I guess it is, there's uh, another one of these fillers, and I've never used it because you can't get to it, I guess, for different engines. They use these engines in a bunch of different things, right? There might be some... Uh, circumstances where you couldn't get a filling on the side where I am here so so I know these engines are used in some small boats and stuff the Anmar stuff pretty good little engines I never ever honestly ever had a problem with this one yet for that many hours is on it's almost well 30 what did I say 30 30 27 3027 hours and never had an, an issue with it All right, we'll let that settle a minute, and then we'll give her a quick little run and uh, give her a check. Well, well, that's doing that. We'll hit a couple of grease fittings here. These ones don't have any on it. They wear out. I've already put one steering cylinder on this thing, and uh, it was wore out at that joint there, right there, wobbling and stuff. So that sucked. And I can't get this fitting yet because it's way underneath the axle with the tire turned like that. But, whoa, geez, where are you going? We'll put this back together here. I don't know why. I guess this thing's getting rusty down there maybe and it's making it harder for it to uh, slide in and stuff. Down this side. I'll give it a spray with some stuff. I'll give her a spray. This is fluid films, good stuff. We'll put like a nice little coating of stuff on it. Might not help much, but. I also need the fluid film for a uh, little latch here. I think that's it. I don't know. Uh oh. <laughs> that's not too bad. So, this little latch needs a bit of spray. You know what? I'm going to give it a little bit of. No, I'm not. I'm just going to spray it. When I was spreading salt with this thing, some of the salt dust got up in this thing and it kind of uh, didn't like that too much. Uh oh. oh. The whole thing's loose. Uh oh. I'm missing a bolt, that's why. There's your problem. I don't know if I got another bolt for that thing. That'd be a special kind of a special kind of a bolt for that. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to raid my John Deere bolt tray and see if I can come up with one. Other than that, I don't know, I might be in trouble. Well, let's check our level here. We'll give her a little run. Alright, very important, very, very, very important not to leave that in there because right down and behind you can actually see it right there. There's a gear down there. If you start that now, it'll shred that up and suck that in there. Oh, that would suck. So, make sure you take that out. And uh, it's a good idea to put this back in too. We should be all right for the level there, but uh, oh man. 
Let's fire it up for a second or ten. Okay, I'll let that sit and settle for five or so minutes, and we'll check our level. Hopefully we're good. So another thing I got to check too while we got the hood off is way back inside of there, I'm probably not going to do it right now, but because I, I don't think I have one. These things are really expensive. There's a filter right there, and that's a fuel filter. It's a real bugger to get out of there too. I think I replaced a few times. Um, I don't have one, so... Our fuel is not too bad here now since I put the uh, filter on the tank that I fill from itself. It was really bad before, like the little, let's go down here a bit, the little settlement guy there, it was always getting packed full of stuff and I can actually see the, the thing on the bottom there. So I think we're all right with that too. I'm not even going to bother doing that, I don't think this time. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, I can see it's perfectly clear. It would all gather in the bottom there if there was crumble stuff so I think we're gonna just leave that too for now because you gotta drain all that out and run the system out of fluid and, and that one that one should probably be changed but uh, uh, I, I, I had a, I'd have to order one because I'm pretty sure I don't have one that filter there is about 56 bucks when I bought it last time on its own I bet you it's up into the 60s somewhere now but uh, anyways we'll give this uh, a little check and I'll let you know if she's good or not should be pretty darn close. The other thing I really need to do in this is uh, change the coolant. Might do that this summer. Haven't done that yet, so. Uh, we're pretty good there. We're mm, touched a little bit high, probably because I should have not put so much in when I, uh, when I uh, did the filter, but uh, what I can do is uh, crack that filter open again, let a bit dribble out. That, uh, that should fix that. I know it's a bit of a waste of oil to do that, but I'd rather waste a little bit than have the engine explode because it's overpressured with oil. Just let a little bit of that dribble on out. And that should do her. Alright, yeah, that should be better. I'll let her sit a few more minutes and then check her again just to double make sure. But we didn't waste that much oil, honestly, it's hardly anything. There's, you know, a little bit in there. It's not too bad. Alright, one more wipe and check. Wipe and check. And I guess the Ford tractor needs an oil change too. Oh, let's see. I don't know what I'm going to use for oil on that though. I'm kind of pinched right now for getting oil unless I can get it from, order it from somewhere. Okay, let's double check her here. Mm, still looks like it's high. That's weird. Looked higher than it did before. <laughs> well, I might have to let her sit overnight and check it. Where we're sitting in. And it's still a bit high. Well, that's weird. Not a big deal. I can deal with that later. But she's got some oil in her anyway, so that is good. All right, now we'll fight with. Uh... Hmm. You know what? I'm going to start it up again. Let it run a minute or so. Straighten the wheels out here. Short minute. No, anyways, I need to uh, get that other grease fitting after there, but we'll uh, put the cover back on the side here, and there's a couple of pin thingies. 
they're getting kind of floppy. They're just riveted on. Basically, they're getting floppy, but this is plastic too, right? Let's clip in the bottom. Got to make sure you get them clipped. Yeah. That's on. That's on. I'm gonna miss that one. Up. Doesn't really do much on the bottom there, but anyways, we got a couple of little hairpin clip thingies to fit in here. That's all that holds her on. That's it. And there, and there. I'm actually soon probably getting close to doing a hydraulic oil change on this thing again too. we go good old girl oil change sweet and then we can't forget we got to hit this other fitting almost forgot almost forgot that's pretty good all right I'm just gonna grab a board to lay on I think there's maybe one on the axle in the center too I just can't remember now well, just checking her out here. I don't see anything under here. Feeling all around. I was thinking, you know, this is where the axle pivots here, and then there's a housing back in there. I thought they might have put some kind of fit in there, but no, she's dry, wears out, junk kind of thing, right? So this is the shaft here for the snowblower that we have for it. I presume it still works. I haven't used it for a few years. That goes back to that gearbox back there and then goes up to the the uh, rear PTO. Runs out to here. Snowblower hooks on. Away you go. So that's a spicer front end too on this feller. I got one little concern here. There's a bit of a wetness coming down here. You can see this one over here is dry. A little bit of wetness on this one though. It's not dripping though so don't know what's going on there but uh, this one when it was new there's a seal on the end so if you take the wheel off and it's on the front hub I had uh, three of them I think it was on this left side too fixed when it was new and they finally put in a double walled seal and it's been fine ever since so but uh, yeah there's the big hydraulic filters there too they're a, a brute oh you know what I marked on them when I did those Ooh, I should go check that out I have to try to get under there and have a look see. Hmm. Okay, what's this telling me? March 8th, 2018, 2700 hours. So they don't need done yet. The uh, filters and uh, fluid should be fine for a while yet. Uh, about every thousand hours maybe, I think I did them. 1200 maybe. I got a leak though. There's a drip there. It's been dripping here for years, and I don't know where it's coming from. It's not one of these lines, because it's above the line. And it seems to be dripping hydraulic fluid. It's hard to get in there, but a little bit here. Just a couple of drops on the floor. It's not major, but there's probably a seal up there between something and something that's leaking a bit. But uh, other than that, it's all good. So, yeah, we did that 2,700 hours in March 8th, 2018. There you go. See, I wouldn't have known that. Neat. Well, I think we're good for now under here. All right, well, that's it for Big Johnny. Uh, the next one, I don't know, it's probably going to be the Mini X, is I'll probably need it kind of sort of next, and then maybe the zero turn more, but I got to see if I can get a filter from Johnny Deere for that because I don't have one of them. They are definitely, I could probably get away with maybe using one of my other ones because it's probably got the clearance, but this one's really short. She's only about that tall, right? So, I mean, these would move and I could probably put a, a taller one in because it looks the same dimensions that way, but I got to, I guess, get some other parts ordered from Johnny Deere and uh, filters and stuff and Air filter, big one for this, that was the last one I had in stock. I like to keep about three of those in stock, so uh, just for the pending pandemics. <laughs> you know, you, you got stock and I was able to fix that today, so. But uh, anyways, 
this will be uh, maybe a very well used machine in the next little while if this pandemic takes over here. So far it's been nothing yet, but whoo boy. Anyways, uh, let's get her, let's see if I can get this stock here up. Well, she's solid now. Fire it up! it for today super awesome thanks again for watching and uh, you guys have yourselves a good day hopefully you're staying safe and uh, safe and sound away from this pandemic crap you guys have a good one thanks again for watching and next oil change will maybe be this or I got the mini X in the, in the building there um, I don't know we'll see one of them's got to get done I got to get a filter for this so it'll probably be the mini X first so anyways catch you then you guys have a good day and thanks again for watching Sweet, you know what I found in this bag? A filter. <laughs> Forgot. It was in that brown bag. That I think is for the sweet. Oh, it is too. It's the little guy. So there you go. During our pandemic, we can change our oil in our zero turn mower. Sweet. Awesome. Perfect. Ready to go.